Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, ha ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. And all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? God damn you! <gasps> Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. 
Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. Fire at will! Spread out, goddammit! They're coming from the rear! I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids after his, <coughs> Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery, so I decided to get sneaky. Chickens with their heads cut off. Send me some bitches running. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. <laughs> Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks.
then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll cover you! Stop aiming, you idiots! Truth be told, things you know weren't much better behind Watch the house. Watch your flank! their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. <clears throat> they made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. Deader than a rat in a trap! How about that? Huh? You like that? You think you can kill me too? And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. <laughs> Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept the on coming. when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Where'd he come from? Discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. said that it was time to cut and run. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back. <laughs> Many would have fled in my place. But I had that 
false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? Yeah. 